All right, so you're interested in buying some gold. Well, you've come to the right place. All right, guys, welcome back. Once again, SB here, guys. Great to have you back on the channel again. I really appreciate you stopping by. And this video is going to be about gold, baby, gold. Woo, love that gold. All right, so you're interested in buying gold, right? If you are brand new to this adventure, welcome aboard. It is great to have you. Now, before we get into buying a bunch of gold and just having a bunch of stuff that, well, you might regret buying later, let's go over a few things, okay? Now, this video is pretty much going to be for your beginner, run-of-the-mill, brand new, wet-behind-the-ear stacker, right? You just... You want to get some exposure, you want to take some of your gains, and you want to put it in a safe place. Well, this is it, guys. This is a great place to store your gains, right? Whether it's from uh, the stock market, whether it's from crypto, you name it, okay? This is a great store of value. Now, that's what gold ultimately is, is a store of value. It's one of the best, if not the best, okay? Now, if you are wanting to put it into something that's going to generate you more income, Gold is probably not the best place to put it, okay? This is just a safe harbor, essentially. Now, first things first is if you just want to continuously buy gold over time, you need to set a budget, right? Now, whether it's $200 a month, whether it's, you know, $10,000 a month or a year or whatever, you need to have that budget and you need to know exactly what you're trying to do. I mean, because ultimately... This is just a safe harbor until you find a better place to put your money, which is what this is. Gold is real money, guys. All right. Now, the second thing you want to do is, is you want to think about what type of gold you want to stack. Now, for the best bang for your buck, gold bars is probably your best bang for your buck, right? Uh, they are the cheapest, ultimately the cheapest premium wise that you can get. And, uh, I don't have any because I just don't do the gold bars, but I'm not going to you know, try to deter you guys from doing that because it is the best value for your dollar, right? So if that is something that you do like, there's plenty of great brands out there that you can get. Pamp is a good one. Uh, just tons and tons and tons of them out there, guys. You can really, uh, I mean, I think uh, Perth Mint does a great job with those. There's plenty of them out there that you can get into. I just, I'm not going to talk about them because I don't buy them, but there is plenty of options out there for you guys to get into. So just keep that in mind. Gold bars, probably your best premium, but you get hit whenever you go to sell them to a dealer. But if you do it privately, you probably do a little bit better. All right. So which gold coins should you buy? It really depends on where you live, right? If you live over in Europe, man, great options for you guys that do extremely well over there. Those are your Sovereigns and your Roosters, your Ducats, you name it. Pretty much anything that's minted over there does extremely well. Like the Britannias, right? They do extremely well. These are, you know, getting pretty popular here in the United States now. Uh, they are starting to, you know, gain some traction because, number one, they're beautiful. And number two, their uh, security features are just exquisite. They're excellent. And it's probably one of the most, if not the most secure bullion that you can buy. And uh, these uh, are very low premium as well. So these make a great option for you guys to uh, to get in on, right? Now, uh, here in the States, we have several options, right? The American Gold Eagle right here, you know, you can get them in various sizes, you can get them in one ounce, half ounce, tenth ounce, and quarter ounce. And I did that all screwed up. But, uh, you know, as far as going your fraction route, your half ounce is probably your better bet. I call it the Goldilocks size because it is, the price is not too much. It's not too small. The size isn't too small. It's just right. So I call it my Goldilocks size. I really do enjoy the half ounce American Gold Eagles. They, they feel good in the hand, right? They You can really feel that little bit of weight to them. And uh, they they add up over time, right? That's what it's all about. 
putting on weight. All right, so I don't have many tenth. I have one tenth ounce. Let me find it. And uh, this is going to be your entry point as far as coins goes. Well, unless it's the maple gram. But I don't buy by the gram. It's, it's just, it's not, it's not very uh, effective or efficient. So this is a 2016 Centennial uh, Mercury Dime. It is a remake of the Mercury Dime from 1916. And it's the only one I got. But the premiums on, you know, 10th ten, ounce coins, they're extremely high. So I try to avoid those if I can. But this was more like a collector thing for me, and I just really wanted to get one. And it was at my LCS, and I got it for a great deal. But 10th ounce American Gold Eagles, they do extremely well. Uh, your uh, maples, your Canadian maples, whether they're quarter ounce, full ounce, you know, all the sizes, they do extremely well here also. And they are highly liquid. And I like the older ones without the radio lines. I don't know. I'm just a weirdo, I guess. But I love these. Uh, they are they are beautiful. And I flipped it the wrong way. Good Lord. Yep. So, yeah, I do enjoy buying the, uh, the quarter ounce uh, maples whenever I can find them. But, they're, man, they're hard to find locally. They're really hard to find locally. And they're getting harder to find online as well. So... If you can find them, definitely they are beautiful gold coins to pick up, and I would definitely snag them. They hold their value pretty well, guys. So, you know, don't don't let the uh, other guys fool you. They do extremely well here in the states. Uh, but if you are wanting to get into gold in any way, shape, or form, you are not going to go wrong with any of these choices. Now, my favorite to stack is yeah. It's, it's the American Gold Buffalo. And this is a four nines fine coin. And it is it is a remake of the old Buffalo Nickel. And it is a stunner. Really is. I do enjoy buying these whenever I can find them. But they are pretty much endangered as far as uh, getting them into wild at the LCS. I can never find them anymore. I used to find them. Very regular, and the prices on them were extremely good. But lately, man, it's just it's a crapshoot if you can find them online for a decent premium, and it's just getting tougher and tougher to find them. But I keep looking every chance I get, and you can get those. I mean, those are pretty much like a hybrid. You know, they're they're like a, almost a collector coin slash bullion coin so it's they cost a little bit more but it all depends on what you like i like the way that the the gold looks on the american gold buffalo so therefore i stack it more and if i'm already paying for a full ounce i might as well get something i like you know what i mean i can get plenty of the american gold eagles in the fractional form and that's what i normally do is i normally buy uh, the American Gold Buffaloes in the, uh, the the full ounce, and then I go for the American uh, Gold Eagles in the fractionals whenever I can find those as well. And this one's approved, so I paid a bullion price for this. This is the only reason why I have it. It's not something that I would normally buy, but I do uh, try to get whatever I can find. If I can find it at my LCS for a great price, then, then I'll, I'll bring it home. And then here's a 2021. This one is in perfect condition. So this one, I just took it out of the capsule just to show. I'm going to put it right back in there. So I want to keep this one fresh. This one is definitely BU and uh, uncirculated. So definitely going to keep this one safe. And uh, yeah, like I said, the Britannias, guys, you cannot go wrong with these. These are, these are beautiful coins. If you can find these as well, I would definitely jump on these. The Maples. And uh, I'm not a fan of the Krugerrands. <laughs> I know a lot of people, they love them. I know the, the Krugerrand hip, hip posse is going to come after me on this, but I just don't like them. I, <laughs> I'm not going to buy something I don't like. So, you know, if you guys like it, by all means, buy it. But for me, buying gold, it's got to be something that I like. So, I, so I'll keep it. So. Well, that's going to do it for today. I really appreciate you guys watching this video. 
If I missed anything, if I left anything out, be sure to leave it down in the comments below. And guys, remember, this is not a race, okay? Do not try to race other people on YouTube. Buy what you can afford. Buy what you can get, all right? Don't try to keep up with the Joneses. I know I can't do it. I just buy a little bit here and there. Save up and then buy a little bit here and there till I accomplish what goals that I got set for myself, all right? That's going to do it for today. Really appreciate you watching. Don't forget, keep grinding on your stack.